Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we'll be concluding our last batch of what? The invertebrates, okay? And of course we're looking at the phylum Echinodermata, alright? So looking at the Echinoderms, call them the Echinoderms, alright? Please know that this tutorial of course is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice App. It's a CBT Practice App. And your exam is a CBT practice exam. Sorry, not CBT practice exam. It's a CBT exam. All right. So, uh, uh, so well, I'll talk about the app later on. But for now, let's talk about the echinoderms. All right. This video, I don't think, will be very, very long. In this class, I'm going to introduce the vertebrate, and then the next episode, we start looking at the vertebrate proper. All right. So now, uh, the echinodermata include organisms like starfish, like starfish. It's been shown on the screen right now. The sea urchins, the sea urchins, and the sea cucumbers, and the sea cucumbers. Okay, so these are the class of organisms that belong to the uh, phylum Echinodermata. All right, the starfish, sea urchins, and the sea cucumbers. All right, now let's see the characteristics of what the Echinoderms. All right, let's see the characteristics of the Echinoderm. Some of the characteristics of the echinoderm include the following. First one is that they are exclusively marine animals. Okay, you know what marine is now. So animals that live in what in uh, in salt water of seas and oceans. All right, in deep seas and what and oceans. Animals that live in salt water of deep seas and what and oceans. All right. Now, the larva forms show bilateral symmetry, while the adult form shows radial symmetry. All right, so what happens during the reproduction of echinoderms is that the egg and the sperms are released into the water. Okay, the egg and the sperms, they are released into the water. Egg and sperm, they are released into the water and they are fertilized inside the water. Okay, so form zygotes. They are fertilized inside the water also to form what zygotes. Now, the larva hatches in the water, okay, and feeds and grow and passes through some successive, successive stages. So the larva, the larva hatches in the water, it feeds in the water and grows, okay, in the water. And then it what? Passes through successive larva stages to not become the adult, all right? So this is what happens during the reproduction in echinoderms, okay? So the larva form, they say, will show bilateral symmetry all right that means the lava form can only be cut right into in one plane to form what two identical what uh uh identical what halves all right why would the adult form the mature form can only be cut in one plane to give two identical halves so this is what happens during the reproduction of what in echinodermata the lava form shows bilateral symmetry while of course the adult form shows what radial symmetry now, three, they are triploplastic. That means they have what, three cell layers or three germ layers, okay? So, you know what that means already? That means they have the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm, all right? So now, they have a true coelom. That means they are coelomates. That is, they have a true body cavity. They have a true body cavity, all right? So this is all we need to know about the genodem. There's nothing really much, okay? Apart from the fact that you know what the examples, the, the, the starfish, the sea urchins, and the sea cucumbers, and then you know that they are exclusively marine animals, all right? They live in the salt water of hot oceans and sea. And then the lava form show bilateral symmetry, while the adult form shows radial symmetry. They are triploplastic, and they have a true coelom. All right, so now we're going to introduce the vertebrates because in the next episode, we'll start looking at the vertebrates. All right, so you know what vertebrates are, okay? Vertebrates are those animals that have what? Backbone, okay? Or spinner and spinner what column, all right? So we're going to look at what the, uh, the vertebrates now. The vertebrate. But before we do that, know that this video tutorial, like I said, brought to you by the OTD School Jam app. That app is all you need to succeed in your exam. It asks all the past questions you could ever ask for, okay? For all what subjects. And aside that, the OTD School Jam app has some wonderful features that are designed to make you perform excellently well in your exam. Okay, like for example, there's a uh, classroom feature where you can well, study lecture notes and take tests on them. 
following the jam syllabus. Of course, it's following the jam syllabus is the more reason why you should jump on it immediately. Okay. Also, it has was question self feature where you can search for question according to topic. And the question that Jamba said under that particular topic will come out for you to answer. Beautiful. And they also have the UTM challenge, the challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year. You compete with your mates, you win prizes every week till one week to the main jam exam. You see your result released every week also, so you can be able to gauge your, prepa your preparation. And likewise, you also will be able to what, get used to how jam said that question. That is the most important thing. Once you can know how jam said that question, once you can understand how jam said that question, that is all, all right? So you, you, you to build your confidence towards what the main exam. To be able to chew any question. To be able to grind any question. So that app affords you all of this for just a fee of 3,000 Naira as at the time of shooting this video. It will increase in the future, all right? So please jump on the application. Go to Play Store, download, and make sure you activate. Do not be stingy to yourself, all right? You do not want to write jam twice. The you ought to should be focusing on is passing your exam at once. All right, you have to study, you have to practice questions, all right, for you to be able to achieve that. All right, so once you download the app, click on activate. And at the top, you see where the road by activation key. All right, if you are not drinking Gary, you will see it very boldly. All right, so click on buy activation key. You will see three options for payment. You see, you can use your ATM card to pay online. You can pay using what your, uh, you can transfer to the OT Schools app account also. You can use Google Pay to play uh, if you have made a purchase from Google Play before. All right, so now, once you have done that, if you are making transfer, okay, you have to what? Send the receipts to this number on WhatsApp 0912151. Five two four six. Just send the receipt of payment to this number on WhatsApp. All right. So once you do that, whether you're using POS, whether somebody transfer transferring for you, just forward the receipt. That is all you need to do. You will get attended to. All right. The next phase, the next process will be sent to you. All right. So now that is that. If I'm making, you're using your ATM card to pay directly online. It will automatically activate your app without even needing to bother anybody. Just if you if you don't if if it does not automatically up, uh, activate. Check your email, you see the activation key there. So it's as simple as that. All right, so now let's look at the vertebrate. Like we said, the vertebrate is a subphylum. It's a subphylum, subphylum of the chordates. Okay, that is the final word, chordata. Okay, it's a subphylum of the final word, chordate, or the final word, chordata. Now I'm going to look at what the characteristics of what? Of the vertebrates. All right. One is that they are bilaterally symmetrical. They are bilaterally symmetrical. This means that they can be cut in only one plane. They can be cut into in only one plane into two identical what halves. Those are what the vertebrates. Another characteristic of the vertebrates is that they possess a well develop central nervous system they possess a well developed central nervous system okay they possess a well developed central nervous system they also have a well developed sensory what organs okay they have a well developed sense organs Okay, and they also have a well developed closed blood system. Okay, they also have a well developed and closed blood system. Okay, so these are this is another wonderful characteristic of, of the vertebrates. Okay, they possess a well developed central nervous system, sense organs, okay, and closed blood system. All right, now they are divided into five. You must take note of that. The vertebrates are divided into five. So I'm going to work, uh, see what each of them was in the extreme what episode. Okay? Now, we have number one. We have the pieces. Okay? This is one. They are divided into five. Number one is what is the pieces. This one, they are the fishes. Okay? Fish. Okay? These are the what? They are the pieces. All right? Then also, we have the amphibians. Okay? We have the amphibians. Okay, so this one's the animals that would live on land and what? On water. Okay, they can live on the land. They are terrestrial. They can live what? On the water. Okay, they are aquatic. All right, so these are what? Amphibians. Then, of course, we have another one called the halves. Okay, this one, they are the birds. They are the what? They are the birds. The halves. They are the birds. 
Okay, also we have another one we call the reptilia. But for now, that was the reptiles. The reptiles. We say this one, they are what they are poikilothermic. That means what their body temperature adjusts to the what to, to the temperature of the environment. We say they are what they are poikilothermic. Okay, so we have the PCC, we have the amphibians, we have the reptilia, we have the halves, and then lastly we have the mammals or the mammalia. Okay, so this one that the most advanced of all what of all of what this what are. Uh, 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 codex. Okay, they are the most advanced. So we have the, the fishes, we have the animals that live for both land and water, we have birds, we have the reptiles, then we have the mammalia. So these are the what the five for division of what of the what of the vertebrates. So we are going to what, look at them one after the other. In the, in the next episode, we are going to look at the pieces. So please join us in that class. Make sure you are you have liked this video. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel so that you can get notification and make sure you are sharing what these videos. Keep sharing, keep sharing. All right. So in the next episode, we are going to look at the uh, at the PCCs. I would love to see you in that class. Thank you for watching.